Today we are looking at that chord sequence and why there are only four viable alternatives to the most popular chord sequence of all time. Now, what am I talking about? I'm talking about one, five, six, four. I'm talking about chord one, which is C in this particular instance. Um, chord five, go to G. Chord six, go up one to eight minor. <coughs> then go down to F. There are hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of songs which use that chord sequence. Um, and there's a related one, which is if you start halfway through and go six, four, you can, it's, it's the same chord sequence, but shifted along by two. Why is that particular chord sequence so incredibly popular? Um, well, you can see why people like writing, particularly like writing songs over a four chord sequence, because so much in music and songwriting in particular falls into blocks of 16 bars and things like that, that therefore you've got four beats in the bar, a four chord sequence going. Just makes it easier to get into the vibe. And when you do have a three chord sequence, which obviously you do sometimes, A lot of the time, people stay twice as long on the last one to turn it into a four-bar uh, four um, sort of little loop. Okay, so why these um, four? Chord one, which in this case is um, in C major, is obviously C major. Then you go to chord five, which is the sort of closest relation. It's like the yin and yang of harmony, which is G. Um, you go up to A minor, which is the relative minor of uh, C major. So it's the minor key which has the same key signature as the major key so these two share the same key signature and then chord four which is the next most close so they're the four most closely related chords that's why um, you put them in a four chord loop and it just works but there's other reasons why that particular sequence works because if you take these four chords there are only 24 ways you can play them and we're going to investigate all the other 22, okay? Because we've, we've done this one, and we've done... So we're going to now look at all the others and see which ones are viable. Okay, we've done one, five, six, four. Let's try one, five, four, six. That works. That definitely works. It works for a lot of reasons, actually. Let's try another one. One, six, five, four. That doesn't work. It, well, it doesn't work for me. Um, it doesn't work for me because it's, it, it's just moving stepwise. Look, it's one, six, five, four. There's no kind of, even in, in root position in particular, it sounds a bit, ah, okay. Um, one, six, four, five. This is one which is already well known. You look. It's the 50s one, isn't it? So we don't need to, to go over that one again. Okay, one, four, six, five. That works. One, four, six, five definitely works. Okay, one, four, five, six. Strangely, that doesn't. There's something slightly unresolved about ending up on the A minor, I think. I'm, I'm, I'm not loving that. I'm not going to commit myself to that one. So out of those six, I think there's two which work. Right, now let's start on chord six. Six, one, five, four. Yeah. Yeah, yes and no. Um, okay, six, one, four, five. No. Don't like that for some reason. Six five four one. Six five. It sort of works, but it is the stepwise thing again. 
Um, so I'm not all over that one. Six one six five one four six five one four ish. Okay, I'm going to say that's a yes. Six five. Uh, I think I, I recognise that from something already, don't I? Six four five one six four five. That's weird. Six, four, five, one. Just sounds a bit random. Okay, now let's move on to chord sequences starting with chord five. I have a problem with these because they just don't sound... It's it, starting a phrase on chord five. Um, unless it's for all the... Qu but it's not that anacrusis thing. It's just going straight in on chord five. Just sounds a bit odd. Okay, five, one, six, four. Nope, five, one, four, six. Sorry. Completely random. N no sense of flow at all about that. Five, six, one, four. Yeah. Ish. Five, six, four, one. That does work. And actually, it's five six four one is just one five six four shifted along one, so you just so it's the same chord sequence. It just starts on a different chord. I'm going to go with that one. I'm going to say that's a yes. So that's going to take. Okay, there's more than four. I've just found a new one which I didn't like before. So five four six. That doesn't work. Five, four, six, one. Again, just sounds a bit random. Five, four, one, six. No, random, random, random. So there's only one viable one out of the ones which start on five, and that's the one which is shifted from one, five, six, four. So is it a new one? Sort of. Let's try starting on chord four. Only six to go. Four, six, one, five. Doesn't do it for me. Okay, four, six, five, nope. That sounds weirdly for me. Ah! Four, six, five, one is one, five, six, four backwards, isn't it? Nope, doesn't work. Four, five, one, six. Just sounds random. Four, five, six, stepwise. Four, one, four. One, six. No, none of these are working, these ones starting on four. Four, one, six, five. Four, one, six. I just found that one. Four, one, five. That works. Four, one, five, six. So we've got four slash five out of all the possible chord progressions in the whole possible world, which could possibly stand in for um, the venerable 1564. Incredible, really, isn't it? Um, but there you go. So if you found this useful, obviously what you have to do is, subs wherever the button is, subscribe and all that kind of thing. And there is a free download, which uh, will give you access to a little micro course, which you might find useful as well. So if you like this kind of thing and you want more of this, then just Click the link, sign up, come and join us, and we at ThinkSpace Education will be just delighted to help you on your musical journey. But from me, for the time being, that's all. Thank you very much. See you again very soon.